Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J-Man Time and today I have a video on one of the most advanced experimental armored car projects of the Second World War. And this here is one of the armored cars that could have been very useful in World War II, especially in North Africa, Italy, and later during the Allied invasion of France or Normandy during the Normandy campaign in June 1944. And that vehicle is known as the Tucker Armored Car, also known as the Tucker Tiger Tank or the Tucker Tiger. And these were a series of experimental armored cars that were developed between 1938 and 1942. Now these vehicles were designed by a company owned by a man named Preston Tucker. And Preston Tucker was an American automobile and aviation entrepreneur who was involved in both the automobile and aircraft industries from the 1930s all the way up until his death in the 1950s. This vehicle here was armed with one 37 millimeter motorized auto cannon and this here was an experimental rapid fire auto cannon that was light enough to fit in an armored truck or car like this Tiger Tiger. The motorized machine gun or motorized auto cannon had a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute, making it as fast as the 40 millimeter Bofors anti-aircraft guns that were being used by both the U.S. Army, Navy, and Air Force during the Second World War. The armor thickness is unknown, but was most likely only about 5 to 10 millimeters thick, 20 millimeters at the maximum, and the vehicle had a massive speed of 183 kilometers per hour or 114 miles per hour and it had an off-road speed of 78 miles per hour or 226 kilometers per hour and the vehicle had a crew of either three or four. Now only two or three of these experimental anti-aircraft armored cars or infantry support armored cars were constructed between 1938 and 1942. Originally, the first prototype was actually tested in 1938 by the U.S. Armed Forces and so were the other two prototypes that were developed later on between 1939 and 1942. But ultimately, the U.S. Armed Forces did not accept the Tucker Tiger. Preston Tucker's company also developed several experimental rotating defensive anti-aircraft turrets for bombers like the B-17 and B-24. And these were developed also between the 1930s and 1940s. Only one of these were accepted for the B-18 Bellow, which was another rare limited production medium bomber that was being used by the U.S. Air Force during the 1930s and 40s. He also developed a Tucker fighter plane, and this was in 1940. He came up with an experimental high-speed fighter aircraft known as the Peace Shooter, but that project was also canceled about one or two years into it, around 1941-1942. So this Preston Tucker and his company actually came up with a lot of different experimental weapons, but the Tucker Tiger armored car was probably the most advanced and it could have been the most useful. Keep in mind most armored cars in the Second World War were very slow, only had a speed of about 20 to 40 miles per hour, whereas this vehicle here could move at speeds of 114 miles per hour. Now the high speed of this vehicle would have been useful in North Africa when the Americans got involved in the fighting in North Africa against both the Germans and the Italian forces while assisting both the British, the Free French, and Belgian forces in North Africa. Most of the German and Italian armored fighting vehicles were also pretty slow and the 37 millimeter motorized auto cannon was powerful enough to pierce the armor of most of the lightly armored German and Italian vehicles with the exception of some of the heavier armored medium and heavy tanks like the German Panzer III, Panzer IV, and the Tiger tank. But most, if not all, of the Italian armored fighting vehicles had armor thickness less than 40 millimeters in most cases, with the exception of some of the later model medium tanks and heavy tank destroyers or semiventis that were being used by the Italians in North Africa. But this vehicle here would have been a very useful infantry support weapon, both as a ground support weapon for sweeping or mopping up enemy forces at the ground level and taking out enemy positions in armored fighting vehicles. And it would have been useful as a high-speed anti-aircraft vehicle for the U.S. and British forces fighting in North Africa. In Italy, it would have been very useful too. Keep in mind, during the fighting in Italy, there was a lot of battles that took place in cities and towns, so this would have been a very useful close quarters weapon. This Tucker Tiger was like a heavily 
armor technical. A technical nowadays is just a mostly unarmored or in some cases partially armored pickup truck or heavy utility truck fitted with either an anti-aircraft auto cannon or maybe a recoilless gun. But this vehicle here was fitted with a heavy 37mm auto cannon that fired both explosive rounds and armored piercing shells at a rate of 120 rounds per minute. So the Tucker Tiger would have been very useful in the close quarters fighting in Italy, especially during the battles of Monte Cassino. The Tucker Tiger would have been even more useful in France during the Normandy invasion and later on during the battles in Belgium in the Ardennes Forest region. In those areas, the, the Germans mostly employed medium and light tanks, and most of the light tanks were pretty vulnerable to 37mm fire. And it would have been useful as an anti-aircraft vehicle against the German Air Force that was operating in France and Belgium during the Allied drive towards Germany in later 1944-1945. So this Tucker Tiger would have been a useful vehicle if it had been produced or adopted by the U.S. Armed Forces, but ultimately the U.S. decided to stay with their M8 Greyhound armored cars and some of the other lesser known armored cars. So what do you think of this vehicle here, the experimental Tucker Tiger armored car from 1938-1942? This vehicle would have been useful in the Pacific Theater too, keep in mind. When the Americans were fighting the Japanese during the island hopping campaign, the Americans did use some of their anti-aircraft auto cannons and some of their light 37mm and 50mm artillery to shell Japanese positions at close range. So a 37mm motorized auto cannon would have been very useful during the island hopping campaign in the Pacific during the later stage of World War II, especially during the battles of Saipan and the liberation of the Philippines. You know, those were all huge battles that caused tens of thousands of U.S. Marines and soldiers their lives. But if they had a better armored car like this, those battles probably would have been, probably would have went a lot smoother as I'm pretty sure if you were a Japanese soldier, you would be ducking your head at the sight of a high-speed armored car firing 37 millimeter shells at you at a rate of 120 rounds per minute. And again, these are both explosive shells and armor piercing rounds. So a lot of those lightly armored Japanese, Italian, and German armored fighting vehicles are going to get knocked out pretty easily with a weapon system like this. And that was the experimental Tucker Tiger armored car from 1938-1942. What do you all think of this, the rare forgotten World War II armored fighting vehicle? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off. A speedy, powerful new welded armor car is being demonstrated by its inventor, Preston Tucker, racing car designer. The amazing war machine will make 100 miles an hour on roads, but not on these roads. It's designed principally for anti-aircraft work, although it can be used as a tank for ground combat too. The tires are puncture-proof, but I wonder, how about the crew? For the Tucker engine and transmission, and too came the ideas for some of the wartime inventions of Preston Tucker. In 1936, Mr. Tucker saw the war clouds looming on the horizon, and he put aside his plans for building his car to work on ideas for war equipment should war come After to After months of intensive engineering and designing work, he built the Tucker combat car and later the famous Tucker gun turret. The combat car had everything, including his power-operated gun turret, complete bulletproofing and air conditioning for the operator. However, it had one drawback. It was too fast. A hundred miles an hour, the fastest combat car ever built. At that time, it was the opinion that a combat car shouldn't be driven over 35 miles an hour, so the government wasn't interested in contracting for any and of that time. And besides the prospect of war, to many seemed remote, but it would have been a nice thing to have in 1941 and 45. This gun turret, however, was one of Tucker's wartime inventions that was used to very good advantage during the war. It was power operated and at the touch of a button revolved a full 360 degrees around and around and up or down. United States bombers, PT boats and other war vehicles were equipped with this gun turret.